Hi, thank you for joining me. This is Angie from Called Out. I'm here to talk to you today about a subject that you may or may not know anything about. If you know a little, um, I'm here to give you some more information, and that is sex trafficking. It is a very hard subject to hear about, but we all need to be in the know. If you know better, you can do better, and that very much applies to this subject here. Um, sex trafficking is the fastest growing crime in the world. It is a $32 billion industry. It's an industry, it's a well-oiled machine, and it's happening in every backyard in every state right around the corner. In fact, Florida has actually been ranked the number three most trafficked state in the country, and that uh, comes from the amount of calls to the trafficking hotline, and we know many of those are not reported. So uh, we know that that number is probably larger. One thing that is very, very disturbing is that it's happening in small towns. In fact, small towns are breeding grounds. That exact phrase I've read several times now. And we have found out about this at the state trafficking conferences we've attended and the local ones. Uh, there's law enforcement there, detectives, mental health counselors, trauma counselors, and sometimes the victims themselves. And as disturbing as this um, may be to hear, I'm sure that you want to know. I want to know. And um, I'm just going to give you a few examples. Uh, most of us think this happens in Miami, Jacksonville, Tampa, uh, cities like that, and it does definitely. But traffickers can uh, be more well hidden a lot of times and more obscure in small towns. Uh, in fact, they like small towns many times because there's not as much law enforcement and they haven't yet formed task force uh, to combat this, which is happening in the bigger cities because it's such a problem. I'm going to give you two examples, Ocala and uh, Bonita Springs, both of which have around 56, 57,000 people. Um, if you want to compare that, Melbourne, Florida here has about 86,000 people. Um, they were both in the news for this. Um, Bonita Springs reported uh, that minors are being trafficked uh, on their way home from school, and that's not just the typical a creeper van that pulls up and tries to pull somebody into the car. No, it's much more sophisticated than that. So uh, we will be telling you more about that in some other videos. Um, also in um, Bonita Springs, they had a situation that's very, very typical where a boyfriend was trafficking his girlfriend and it looked like a very normal relationship, which many of them do but they groom their victim, which is another subject, and um, then they flip, they just flip a switch many, many times, and they become victims of this crime. They're put on drugs, they're threatened, their families are threatened, of course, they're hurt physically, emotionally, uh, and so much more. And those are two very, very small towns where a lot of people probably had no idea this was going on. So we've heard from some um, actual law enforcement many times about this, as I said, but I wanted to give you another few examples. Um, Lindsay Phillips, who is the Director of External Affairs at Devereaux Advanced Behavioral Health uh, Florida, works directly with victims through counseling and recovery programs, and she said it is happening everywhere. There is no social class immune, and to say that that's the case is actually very naive. And um, even in Clearwater, which is a bigger city, in the Tampa area, the chief of police, Anthony Holloway, said don't think it's not happening in your town because it's happening everywhere. The typical victims and trafficker are not who you think they are. Many times when talking to friends or family, they have heard this is a growing problem, but they think it's um, people who are girls or boys who are runaways. Um, they think the traffickers are a pimp type person and that's just not the case at all. So as we come to you more in these videos, we will share more information about who they are, what they look like, and what you can do. But um, if you care, you can become a lot more aware, and that's what we're trying to do here, is just to let you know that it is happening right under your noses, and just to keep your eyes open. Um, keep your eyes on your kid's social media. Again, that's another subject. Um, but right around the corner and right on the price doesn't mean what it used to mean when you watched a commercial or it talked about a product. It actually means something very different. So think about that and let that be the thing that reminds you about the fact that this is happening right around uh, us everywhere. It's very, very sad and 
you can do something about it. We don't want to just make you aware. We want to help you uh, become a part of the solution. So this is a start. We'll be posting how you can help um, in many, many different ways. But we first and foremost just wanted to give you some examples of what's happening around here and to let you know that uh, that's why we're here to take part in combating this problem. So you can uh, like our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, or I'm sorry, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that will be a start, and we'll be bringing you a lot more videos um, about this subject. Thank you.